What's up, Internet Land? This is Zachmus Prime, aka Zachmus Prime, bringing you another third-party review. This one is to, this review today is brought to you by Titan One Toys. Titan One Toys is awesome. Yeah, it's great. The figure we're gonna be reviewing today is the Unique Toys. What do they call them? Flash Layer, which um, kind of looks like Blast Off. But, you know, it's really not Blast Off. It's totally a uh, Lash Layer. Which, if I had a nickel, I would bet a nickel that Lash Layer is a character from World of Warcraft. And, um, yeah, I think it looks good. A um, little bit of kibble here, but, you know, it's not it's not the, the biggest problem in the world. Um, I, think he, I think it looks really, really good in this mode, actually. <laughs> Certainly as good as, you know, a lot of other offerings and better than some. Um, he uh, certainly isn't like, you know, swathed and then like 10 layers of kibble on all of his parts. Like some figures, <coughs> Zeta Toys, <coughs> man, I don't know what that was all about, but <coughs> I got a little something in my throat, I guess. Anyhow. So, um, yeah, it just kind of exudes that nice, uh, uh, 80s combiner dude feel. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, been reviewing these guys as they've been coming out for a while, and, uh, this is the fifth one, finally. But, um, yeah, I'm re really digging, uh, this unique toy style. I just, it looks great. It feels great. It transforms great. It looks great in both modes. I mean, like that's that's all around. That's what a good figure is, you know. If it looks good in this robot mode, looks good in this alt mode, transforms well. Like, what more could you possibly ask for? Except for maybe a little bit less kibble. But um, in terms of posability, his head looks up and down, turns side to side. Um, his arms will go, they're, they're kind of, they're kind of iffy in here. Like the joint is, is, is fine and all, but then you've got this like, this little tuxedo part here that kind of, I don't know. On this one particularly, I guess it's this landing gear. This landing gear gets in the way of the shoulder movements a little bit. But just the it's just the tiniest bit of impediment. It's not even that big. My shoulders move out that much all the way. You've got this little part here will flex around. Uh, you can put it a little bit like that. I like to put them out a bit. I think that's how it was in the show. Elbow goes a bit more than ninety degrees. That's nice. His wrist. It swivels. It also will bend out, but then it looks really kind of dumb because that's actually a transformation joint. It's not meant to do that. Hands will open up. Got a single finger. Got three fingers. This is standard for the whole line. Waist joint here. Hip skirt here. Leg will move forward that much. Move back that much. Will bend. 90 degrees more or less this tab right here likes to contend with that thigh right there so maybe maybe less maybe more or maybe it's this chunk that's contending with his butt plate i don't know ankle tilts hella toe points down a little bit up down mostly by the way people were saying eh, how come he doesn't have the rocket thruster toes well, you know what? You can go like this. You can rotate this thing around. There's your rocket thruster toes. It's true. That's it right there. Let me do the other one just to, uh, just in case you didn't catch it the first time. Boom. Rocket thruster toes. I think they look kind of silly. I think they look really silly. They're, they're silly. But you can do it, damn it. Should have just left him in that mode because that's part of the transformation. So getting into transformation, 
<laughs> we're going to take these and rotate them around. Like so. Like, like, like so. You can rotate these. So I think this is probably the appropriate way in this mode. We're going to pull open his shins. This is, by the way, like straight up Combiner Wars transformation here. Rotate these little gears around. Why? Because they rotate, so they must rotate. Open these panels up. There's a panel right here. Like that. Like that. We're going to collapse this Combiner Wars style. Take them together, more or less. Bring those up. These are gonna. There's a peg in there. Tab. Mesh that together. Go to the back. We're going to pull this chunk up like so. There's this like double slash triple hinge in there. We're going to pull these panels out. Pull this panel out. Pull these panels out. Now, these panels here, they kind of you kind of got to pull on this to squeeze them past this point here. I don't really like that. I don't really like that. But you deal with it. Take that and put that all the way up like so. We're going to rotate his arms up. This actually is a lot like their non-vortex. In this, in this shoulder action right here. For the wrist here, we're going to take this and extend this out like that. We're going to pull on this, flip it around, flip it this way, and then push it back in. So, we'll do that with the other arm so that you know what's going on. Extend this out, pull, flip. Flip, push. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to smush this together and smush this together. Make sure these go all the way in. The clearances on this figure are a little questionable in the spots. There's a, a spot right up here in the shoulder where the shoulder armor kind of goes over. I don't know if I can show it to you. It goes over this part where the shoulder connects into. And it's a tight fit. Tighter than I like. Alrighty, so that's together, that's pushed in fairly well, the hands are in this configuration, the head is in this configuration, we're going to take this, straighten this part out, straighten this part out, and then we're just going to take and kind of fold this in so that it all comes in you gotta you gotta straighten these panels out and make sure that they stay straight because they don't hyper extend like these ones push it down tab it into place and there's these two tabs right here they're gonna peg into there
hold these panels down. And just kind of like massage it all into place. With some brute force. Which is one of the things I don't like about this toy. It, it takes more brute force than I think it should. I'm a, you know, big man child. I shouldn't have to wrestle with my toys. You know, they should just do what they're supposed to do. Gosh. There he is in his space shuttle mode. I forgot to mention that he comes with a gun. I feel really dumb now. There's his gun. Because, I mean, if you had a gun in a space shuttle, that is totally where you'd put it and how you'd put it. And that's... Man... He has landing gear that flipped down. So if he'll land, more or less, if you try to roll him, he'll roll forwards. If you try to roll him backwards, he'll collapse onto the floor. That's just how it is. Space shuttles always roll forwards. They don't roll backwards. Just deal with it. And there he is in space shuttle mode. Um, it's not the most accurate space shuttle mode. I think that Zeta Toys uh, definitely takes the cake on that. Uh, for example, these are too small. It only comes with two thrusters instead of three, five technically, if you count these auxiliary ones here. Uh, the tail is a bit weird. The wings are a bit small, etc., etc., etc. I'm a space nut. Any of you who actually have been here since I reviewed um, the Zeta Toys Blast Off like forever ago, um, that was actually my very first video review that I set up a backdrop for. It was a questionable backdrop at best. Um, there's a color shift from here to here. Um, I don't know how I really feel about that. I guess I'd have to uh, look it up to see if that's accurate and that's why they did it. But um, it's kind of iffy. And uh, eh, I don't know. I guess, I guess, I mean... I didn't even notice it until I got it into vehicle mode, so if you have it in robot mode, it's uh, not really noticeable. I don't think it's going to be too noticeable in um, arm mode as well. <laughs> arm mode, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, that that thing. But um, yeah, he's a great figure. He, uh, he fills out the rest of this line, so if you're collecting this line, definitely pick it up. He's definitely not the, the the strong figure of the line. In fact, I would say that he's probably the weakest of the five. But he's still a pretty decent figure. Um, so I mean, he's 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 the weakest of in the elite team of nice figures. So there you have that. But anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. You're all fantastic. Have a fantastic day. Be great to each other, and I will see you around. See ya.